Hey guys, this is Shannon with Nearly Organic Noshing, and it is Friday afternoon, almost 6.30. I just got off work, and this is going to be the beginning of a pretty busy weekend for me. Um, one, I broke my finger like two days ago, I think, so that is just going to make my weekend so much more fun <laughs> and enjoyable but I've got a lot going on this weekend I'm leaving my house right now it'll stay driving into the Sun um, or I will be in just a second and um, I'm heading one to get gas as well my gas lights on Two, I'm gonna go to Home Depot and buy some paint because I hate our bedroom uh, color oh wow this is just getting brighter um I don't think that's good. um let's see here it might be a little better um I hate our bedroom color it is it is just truly truly hideous so I am going to be painting the bedroom but it is going to be a total rig job on the bedroom like I'm not moving anything we have super, super heavy furniture, and my son is, like, walking over here wondering what the heck I'm doing. Okay, guys, so the lighting is much better here. I am at Home Depot right now, and um, I think I left it off saying I'm doing a total rig job on the bedroom. We plan on, in a year or so, somewhere around there, we have some other projects we want to get done first. Um, but we plan on totally gutting our bedroom. It needs a lot of work. There are windows we're going to be changing out. Some window areas we're going to be closing up. We are possibly going to be putting a mini split into the bedroom. Um, we're going to have to redo like the subfloor, like rip all the flooring out. We know there's flooring damage. Um, Resheet rocking some areas. I mean, major, major work in the bedroom. So we know that's coming years ago probably like 10 plus years ago we painted the bedroom i painted the bedroom on a weekend that chris was gone i spent the entire weekend painting because we went to the store and chose these paint colors and i won't even get into the paint colors but needless to say i hate the paint colors one of them's okay the other one is hideous um I feel like I'm inside a high school, like they're like mascot colors, they're so bright and hideous and I hate them and I just can't take them anymore. It's, <laughs> there is no peace in our bedroom, so um, he is gone this weekend. I actually helped him load up last night, got him packed and on the road and he is at our off-grid property. Um, he just, he likes to go every couple of months. I couldn't go this weekend, I just had too much stuff going. So he is working on some projects at our off-grid property. Um, some of the other people in the group are there. And so it was a good weekend for him to go. So he is there doing that. I know I'm going to be piling everything in our bedroom that I can on our bed. And not going to be able to sleep on our bed this weekend. So while he is gone, I can sleep on the couch in the living room while I'm working on the bedroom. Which is what I did last time. I'm not moving stuff. I am literally painting around things because the armoires that are part of my closet, it takes two people to move them empty. And I'm not doing that. I am literally going to take everything off the top and I'm going to paint around it. The headboard is bolted to the wall. That's not coming off. I am painting around the headboard. Um, I will move stuff away from the wall that I can possibly move, um, but I'm not taking like the TV mount down. I'm not taking the, they, we have these massive mirrors on the wall. None of that is coming off. I am painting around it and I'm calling it good. And I'm thinking about, he doesn't know this part, we have cream like Berber carpet which is probably, I don't know, close to 20 years old. And it is so stained. I have cleaned it so many times. I have bleached it. I have peroxided it. I have done everything I can to get this carpet looking decent and nothing works. I went online and was doing some reading and apparently you can spray paint your carpet. 
So I can either go cheap and do some cheap, cheap, cheap spray paint in there and the carpet will be a little crunchy, but it'll all be one color and you won't see any stains. Or I can go a little more expensive and buy the spray dye like you use in upholsteries for like in car upholstery and spray the carpet. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how my weekend goes. In addition to doing that, I need to undecorate from St. Patrick's, decorate for Easter, do a basic clean of my house. Plus, tomorrow is Chick Days at Purple Gator. I have been waiting and waiting for this because I want to add to um, my chicken menagerie. I really want an Easter basket of eggs. So, um, I'm going to go and I'm going to pick up some new breeds that I've never had before and some others. I have Easter eggers, but I want to get some different colors. So, I'm just going to go. It's one day a year that they do this. I've missed it the last two times. Um, we've been out of town, so I'm super excited to get to go. I'm going to go, and I'm going to go pick up some new baby chicks tomorrow. So when I get home from the store tonight, I have to get my mini, my baby brooder ready to go. I need to get it all scrubbed up and set up because the way I do it is when they're really tiny, I have them in the house, and I have them in a little mini brooder, and I'll link the video on how I make the mini brooder. And then when they start getting too big for that one, and they can tolerate the cooler temperatures just a little bit more. I move them to a big water, um, like a water trough, like a horse water um, that Chris made a top for me and they move to that one. And then when they get too big for that one, then I have a grow out pen out in my run area and I move them to there when they can well, guys, It's been like 40 minutes. My phone, you probably see it. I don't even remember what I was talking about. I've like gotten phone call after phone call. Our neighbor called us stressing out because their dog sitter fell through and he's like is there any way you can take care of the dogs this weekend sure no problem Chris called me from camp do we have barbecue sauce anywhere in the camper they want to make barbecue chicken so I'm like walking him through where everything is in the camper <laughs> to find it so um, now I'm gonna go into Home Depot and go get what I needed I think I was talking about chickens I can talk about chickens for a long time so I'm going to go check out the plants because you can see all that over there. They have all like herbs and plants and stuff. And I'm like dying to work in my garden, but I just don't have time right now. Um, if I, if I get some time, I, I want to do some planting, but, um, this weekend is my one weekend when Chris is not going to be home. Um, cause I don't think he'd be cool with, you know, like having to sleep on the living room floor. So, um, to go and try and knock the bedroom out. So I am off to go get everything I need and get home and clean my house. All right, let's go find some paint and maybe some plants. Hey guys, it is Saturday morning. It's actually almost 12. I think it's about quarter till 12. And um, I have just been working on things around the house. I did not get as much done last night as I wanted to. My hand was hurting and I got hit with a bad, bad headache. And I ended up eating dinner at like 10 o'clock at night, which consisted of a bowl of oatmeal which it's kind of cool when I have the house to myself that I can just have whatever I want so had a bowl of oatmeal and um, did a few more things and some cleaning in the kitchen and just went to bed so this morning I enjoyed sleeping in um, I don't get to do that very often I know I will end up working really late tonight and that just fits my body more um, than getting up super early in the morning. If I don't have to get up early in the morning, I don't. So I slept in till I don't know, like 9.30 this morning. And then I've just been working around things at the house. My goal was to be on the road by 12. So I'm on my way to the neighbor's house right now to take care of their dogs. Still don't have any makeup on yet. I know, <laughs> it's rough. So I'll do that on my way and let them out. I, um, let me pull up under here. Ah, uh, that's better. No glare. Um, 
they're just right up the road. I'm just gonna go let their dogs out, grab myself my, you know, Weight Watcher friendly hair breakfast slash lunch. My alarm was going off mid filming. So I'm gonna go and take care of the pups and then it should take me less than 15 minutes. I'm gonna eat my protein bar while I'm letting them potty and then I will be on the road by 12. Hey guys. Okay guys, I made it. I had no idea there was gonna be so much construction on the way, but um, today is their chick days, and this is the first time I've ever been here. I have sent people to pick me up chicks before, but I have never been. So I'm super excited to go in and see what they have. Okay guys, so this is what I ended up getting. Um, I actually got two more than I planned on because they have this little, let me show you the paper. They have this little paper right here and it says two free biddies if you buy 25 pounds of chick starter. So I thought, okay, you get Rhode Island Reds. And I, what I didn't pay attention to was that right there where it said SR. So I marked two Rhode Island Reds on here. They're really good layers. They do great in Florida and I just know how good they are. So I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and get a 25 pound bag of Chick Starter and I'll get two of the Rhode Island Reds. Well, come to find out, those are straight runs. So I was just like, eh, never mind. They'd already pulled my two Rhode Island Red pullets. So I just went ahead and got those. And I was just like, I was gonna get six, I got eight. You know how it is with baby chicks. Not all of them always make it. So, um, so I have two Americanas. I have one Buff Menorcan. I have two Cuckoo Marins. I have one gold golden laced Wyandots and I have two Rhode Island Reds. So I usually like to get two of each of the same kind, but eh, I just wanted a little more variety. So we're gonna see what we end up with and hopefully they all make it. Oh, they're just too stinking cute. And since I have like a 45 minute drive home, plus I have to do a couple of stops, um, this is like what I use to keep them warm. These are just hot hand warmers and I brought an old towel. I'm just gonna break these, put them in here, and if they get cold, they can sit on top of the warmers. But I do love these little cages. They have venting on the side and I think this is great. Well guys, it is quarter to three, much later than what I thought I would be getting back home. Um, but I had a couple of stops when I was out and about. Stopped to see my son and took him lunch at work. And now I just pulled into the house um, and I'm gonna go to the back and go ahead and grab um, some shavings so I can get the chicks uh, brooder set up. All right guys, everyone is set up in the brooder. It's getting up to temperature. It's a little low right now, but it'll get up to temperature and everybody is settled in. They are eating, they are drinking, they are running around, happy little chicks. So now I have to go change clothes and put on something very grubby because I am the messiest painter you have ever seen and go get started painting. And my idea is that I'll paint and while it's drying, I'll clean house and just go back and forth, back and forth until I'm done in theory. So <laughs> I'm gonna go get started and see what I can do. Okay guys, if this gives you a clue as to the colors in here, but do them like a hundred times brighter than what they look like on film. So I hate painting, but 
I am just going to go ahead and cover this up. And like I said, I just have literally everything piled up on the bed and I'm gonna paint around things. And then in a year or so, when we completely get the bedroom, it's not gonna matter. So it's just gonna look better, at least for a little while. Okay guys, um, huh, I'm making progress. I think I've been painting about three hours or so. It's a little after six. Um, I have all of the trim and the white done that um, at least the first coat right now, I kind of made myself a little station here of stuff. And I'm getting ready to start on the brown and I'm really, really hoping that it's dark enough to cover this wall because that is blue that is like seriously blue I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get another gallon of paint most likely so oh, I hate painting so much I'd rather clean toilets I would rather do anything than paint like I despise painting so all right I have to go let the neighbors dogs out again so I'm gonna run go do that and then come back and get started on the brown Okay, so Chris is probably leaving camp, um, I'd say within the hour. So they, they usually leave between 12 and 2. Um, I haven't gotten a text from him yet, but um, I have a feeling he's going to be leaving soon. So, scoot here. Um, I need to go get paint and I need to get home get changed, get out of my church clothes, and get back painting, because I would love to have the bedroom not only finished painted, but I would like to have the bed made, everything put back, at least it looking somewhat decent. So, and I know it's going to need a little bit of time to dry before I do that. So, I just need to hustle <laughs> is what it comes down to. I just really need to hustle and I would love to get the rest of the house together a bit more. Um, I got a little bit of it done before mass this morning, um, but not everything. So I just kind of straightened up. I still have my St. Patrick's out. I need to get that down. I need to decorate for Easter. Right now I'll just take it being neat and clean and not have to worry about um, if the decorations are correct. I need to do laundry because I haven't done any of our, I mean, I've been washing it and drying it, but that's only half the battle. You still have to fold and hang and get everything uh, put away. So that is my game plan for the day. Oh my gosh, I am so sore um, between doing that whole trailer full of wood on Thursday and then just getting stuff done on Friday and then being up and down the ladder from the top of the ladder down on my knees um, oh a few hundred times yesterday um, I am so sore I feel old and beat up but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish knocking this out and I may just have to take care of the house the rest of the week um, you know, after work each day, which if that's the way it is and that's the way it is and that's that. So I need to clean the porch. I need to work in the garden. I, I need to do a million things, but progress, right? Progress. So I'm going and hitting the stores now. I have my cards that has what I bought so that I'll make sure I get the right thing and get home and get started. Okay guys, I am calling it good on the bedroom for now. Um, I still have touch up work to do, but it is much better than what it was. Um, the color was just hideous. I knew this was going to be a pretty uh, rough job on the painting and stuff, um, just because I didn't sand. I didn't do any of that. This is mainly just a color cover up 
until we gut the bedroom. So that is it. It is done for now. <laughs> I am calling it good. I don't want to mess with the bedroom anymore. Um, I'm going to go work on, I think I'm going to go get some um, starters, um, some plants, some seeds started because I really need to do that. And Chris just came in um, from camp and he is crashed in the living room right now. He is like super exhausted. So I don't want to start cleaning and crank up vacuums and things like that and wake him up. So I'm going to go work on the back porch um, for an hour or so and then I will um, come inside and work on getting my house together.